How's it going here? This is Andy from White Metal Games. Today we're going to be doing a cheat code on how to do hairspray and salt weathering um, on this really cool orc battle wagon. It's custom converted um, and it's really awesome. It's kind of like a Mad Max theme. So this is the front end of the battle wagon. Um, and how I achieved this, I, I painted it some rust colors. I used the um, Panzer Aces Dark Rust. The Vallejo Model Air Light Rust in the Vallejo Game Air Red Terracotta. And I just sprayed this in various places around the, uh, around the model. And we primed this first in black. So this is uh, what I'm going to be showing you and this is what we're going to try to achieve. I painted this up yesterday. Now this is the tanker that's going to go in the back of the battle wagon. It's kind of like Mad Max. And um, we're painting this as Bad Boons. And we're going to show you how to achieve this really cool, really natural rust effect on this thing here. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is uh, do a good, solid gloss coat over this model here. Um, that way we protect it from, uh, from the um, hairspray. We want to keep everything how it is right now. So we're going to go ahead and apply a good gloss varnish to this. Um, and... Um, then we'll get going with the hairspray. All right, so we've gone ahead and taken our model and we've uh, done a good strong clear coat all over it. Uh, this is going to help in later steps improve it in keeping the rust color that we want. Uh, if you try to do uh, if you try to do this without that, you run the risk of going right through the paint and showing the gray plastic or the primer that you've used. But I've gone ahead and I've clear coated the whole model in good rusty colors or in, in after doing the rusty colors uh, so now we're going to apply the salt so what I'm going to use for that is some kosher salt um, you want to get coarse kosher salt because it has a good shape to it if you use regular iodinized table salt it's going to be little squares and you don't want that you want to get the coarse kosher salt for this um, it's actually going to make this thing look kind of like a pretzel. But I would recommend uh, getting a box or something because you're going to get salt all over the place. Um, but to apply the salt to the model, we're just going to use water. And what the salt's going to do is going to be for bigger patches of rust. Um, say if you have a, an old truck who's been sitting out in the sun for the past 30 years, it's going to develop rust on the hood of the, of the truck. So we're going to try to simulate that using the salt. Um, so I'm just going to find some areas where, I, uh, mainly on the top, that I want to have bigger patches of rust. Um, so I just get a paintbrush and just some water. Um, and I'm just going to add that to various spots. Um, you generally, you're using the water to try to get the salt, the salt to stick. So I'm going to grab some of this salt. I'm going to dump some out, a little pile here. That's probably way too much. I'm just going to sprinkle it on the areas I've applied the water to. And I can just go around picking out different spots where I feel would be larger patches of rust. Here on the hood, those are good spots there. And just shake it off as you go. Anywhere the salt is applied um, is, is where the rust is going to show through. So keep that in mind. And uh, I would advise putting more salt on the areas than you think you'll need because a lot of the salt is going to fall off when you uh, go to apply the hairspray. Um, so go a little bit heavier than you, you think you need. Okay, 
So now we have this salt applied in various areas all over the model. Uh, mainly focusing on the top, because that's where we want that sun beaten weathered look. Um, but it's going to be chipped and weathered along the whole side, so it matches our other half. So now what I'm going to do with this is use some hairspray, and I'm just going to shoot this straight through the airbrush, I'm not going to thin it down at all, and we're going to do a good coat of hairspray over everything with the salt. Some of it's going to fling off, but you don't need to worry about that. Uh, that's why we put a little bit more than we should. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this in the back and spray it with the hairspray. So what, I've gone ahead and I have coated everything with the hairspray. Um, so I, I used that straight shooting it through the airbrush and I did a couple of coats. Um, so now we are ready to paint. And you can paint this however you want. Um, you just paint right over the salt and the hairspray. Um, I'm going to start by using um, Vallejo Model Air Wood. This is a nice, like, deep, deep yellow color. Um, and then I'm going to go over it again with um, Minotaur Warning Yellow. And those are the same paints that I used on the tanker to achieve that yellow color. I'm just going to load up my airbrush with that and start laying down some color. Right. You know, don't be afraid if some of the salt comes off. It's more than likely going to happen. Switch things over to the Minotaur Warning Yellow. Okay, so we've laid, laid in our, our base coat of yellow. So now we're going to start bringing that uh, weathering effect to life. So. You're going to want to grab a box or something. I'm using the same box as before. We're going to start brushing off some of this salt. And for that, we're just going to want to get a, a paintbrush. And you can ju just re scrape it off with the paintbrush. It should come off fairly easily. You can grab another brush here. And you just want to try to get as much of that salt off as we can. Really need to get all the salt off. Don't worry if you're scratching the paint, because this is gonna that's the desired look we're looking for. So obviously right now it doesn't look natural at all. It just looks like it was maybe shot uh, about a thousand times. Um, but now we're gonna what we're gonna do is take our brush I mean, we made sure that all the salt is off of this thing and that's important um, but we're going to take our brush we're just going to dip it in some clean water <clears throat> we're going to add some water with the brush and I like to just add a little bit and then dab most of it off and what that's going to do is that's going to go through the paint layer and dissolve the hairspray that's underneath the paint which will break up the paint and uh, start naturally chipping it away showing the rust color that we have underneath so i'm just going to take my brush or here and start square scraping away at certain areas 
now these really unnatural spots here that I um, did with the salt. I want to kind of focus on those because those are going to become bigger patches. If you just lightly get the airbrush on uh, the, the, the brush on there, you're going to be able to get a nice natural patch of chipping. It's really organic because you, you don't really have a lot of control when you're doing this um, with the salt. So it's real organic and real natural looking chipping. I just love the way that looks. I mean, you can't, you can stipple things, you know, using a sponge, but nothing looks as natural and as organic as doing it this way. Because you're literally having the paint chip off of it. You're simulating years and years and years of wear um, in a matter of a short period of time. And this is great because, like, you get the brush a little wet, then you can start to kind of lightly scrubbing at the sides along the edges and it will start wearing down that paint and helps define that shape real well and you just work around it. you can go as heavy or as light as you want to with this uh, when you get to a point you're happy all we're going to do is clear coat it with a matte varnish and paint the rest of the model I'm just going to go work, work this around and get it to a point that's fairly consistent with the tank I already did. All right. So now this is fully weathered. Um, and all we have to do is put a matte varnish on it. And it will be good to go and paint it however you'd like after that. So we're going to go ahead and apply a matte varnish. So there we have it. That's how you do uh, salt and hairspray weathering on a, on a, on a vehicle. Um, you can use this on Titans or anything you want to look nasty and weathered. Um, you can also actually use this, say if you take a Ultramarines tank, a blue tank, you can, instead of doing rust, you can do bright silver underneath. So that way the paint is getting chipped away to new fresh metal, which can be pretty cool too. Um, but thank you very much for watching. We got the front of the Orc truck and the back and they're all weathered up and nice. Let me go ahead and finish these models and uh, and we'll take some pictures for you. Thank you very much for watching our cheat code today and stay tuned for more great content.